Hello mathematicians. In this video, we see a nice linear algebra problem asked in 2018 June. Let R and B a cubed with a standard inner product. Let V1, V2, etc. V n be a column vectors forming an orthonormal basis of R power. Let A be a n by n matrix formed by the column vectors V1, V2, V n. Then what we have to check whether A equal to A inverse, whether A is symmetric whether a inverse equal to a transpose these are called orthogonal matrix if a a transpose equal to identity in other words if a inverse equal to a transpose such matrices are called orthogonal or determinant of a equal to 1 okay so which of the following four options are true note that we are given an orthonormal basis and these are all column vectors now if you so out of this basis we are forming a new matrix a so for this matrix A, the first column will be V1, second column will be V2, etc, etc, nth column will be Vn, okay. Now we will see options one by one. First observe that this V1, V2, Vn form an orthonormal basis. What is the meaning of it form an orthonormal basis? If you take two distinct vectors Va and Vj, then their inner product is zero. It means that the vector v i and v j if you take two distinct vertex here they are orthogonal to each other or perpendicular to each other and if you take inner product of v i and v i by definition this is equal to norm v i square that will be equal to 1 in other words norm of v i square equal to 1 means that norm v i itself is 1 because norm is a non-negative number therefore each vector here has norm 1 and if you take two distinct vectors they are have inner product 0 so using this definition of orthonormal basis we deduce which option is correct okay now let's take a let's work out 3 by 3 example okay so let a be a matrix say we assume that this is a uh, orthonormal basis this vector a1 a2 a3 b1 b2 b3 c1 c2 c3 these three vectors form a orthonormal basis of r3 suppose okay then you consider the transpose of this matrix and i am multiplying these two matrices okay so a into a transpose i am going to multiply first note that if x is a vector x1 etc xn y is a vector y1 etc yn then in their inner product in the real vector space is defined to be x1 y1 x2 y2 etc etc xn y1 we have to sum these numbers x1 y1 plus x2 y2 plus etc plus xn yn this is the inner product now we multiply a and a transpose okay what i want to calculate this entry of the matrix a a transpose how do i get this entry you take this row, multiply it with this row, this column. That's how we get it. What we do? We take A1 into A1 plus B1 into B1 plus C1 into C1. That is nothing but if you take this as V1, then the value we got is inner product V1, comma V1. For this entry, we take this row and multiply with this column. So I take this, this vector as V1 and this vector is V2. Not that if I multiply this plus this plus this plus this plus so a1 a2 plus b1 b2 plus c1 c2 is nothing but inner product v1 v2. So similarly now we can notice that if you multiply a and a transpose all these entries are given by these inner products where this v1 v2 v3 are columns of a transpose are rows of the matrix a you can both are same okay now this is a uh, this a a transpose the entries of a a transpose are uh, inner products this is very important okay there is already one another csr problem which is asked related to a a transpose well, for example this rank of a a transpose and rank of a they are same okay so that is very important property sometime asked in nbhm also so i have shared the link to that video also please check so about rank of a a transpose and rank of a there is one more csir problem related to a a transpose 
that link also i will share in the description so together you watch this video also so that uh, you can see all these three problems uh, in a single concept under single concept okay okay so now uh, we know that v1 v2 v so this we these columns this form a orthonormal basis okay so that is what given in the problem therefore if if they form a orthonormal basis then inner product of elements with dis, inner product of two distinct vectors will be zero so we got all these vectors zero and inner product of element with itself is one okay so in the di diagonal we got one okay note that this is what we are observed here uh, so we are using it here okay so we got a a transpose equal to identity matrix therefore whenever a matrix has its rows or column consist of orthogonal matrix okay orthogonal vectors then if you multiply itself with a transpose you always get a identity matrix in other words a transpose equal to a inverse okay so a a transpose equal to identity means that this a transpose is the identity so we conclude that a transpose equal to a, 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 a transpose is a a inverse basically that means that a is an orthogonal matrix any matrix satisfying a transpose equal to a inverse or a a transpose equal to identity it is they are called orthogonal matrices so we conclude that this option is correct but if you can simply eliminate other options also equally uh, and uh, the, the way the idea to eliminate other option they are very important that that idea can be used in other options also let's see why so let's uh, look at uh, first option they are saying that a should be equal to a inverse okay but we uh, you take this matrix 2 by 2 cos theta sin theta minus sin theta cos theta so these are all 2 by 2 uh, rotation matrices so instead of putting minus here you uh, you put minus here you put plus you will get a different set of orthogonal matrices in 2 by 2 case these are the only two uh, orthogonal matrices okay so this is one then another is cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta so these matrices also for various collection of data are they form orthogonal matrices again these matrices will also form orthogonal matrices okay for various choices of data so they are all rotation matrices then you can look at matrices similar to them also okay now note that these matrices uh, the columns of these matrices form an orthonormal basis of r2 but uh, this matrix is not symmetric so if a equal to a transpose then this matrix has to be symmetric but this matrix is not symmetric because this entry and this entry is not same therefore this option is not correct now about a equal to a inverse you calculate the inverse of this matrix you will see that this matrix it's, it's itself is not inverse okay uh, yeah that is uh, and for determinant uh, well, how what about the determinant of these two matrices okay we'll look at this matrix okay so these two ve these vectors e2 comma e1 this is a orthonormal basis of r2 okay therefore if you put this e2 and e1 as a column vector this will be a orthogonal matrix its determinant is clearly minus 1 therefore last option is also wrong okay okay so i will using the same idea we have done two other problems they are also very important problems so i will share the link to that video in the description please check them also okay okay guys if you learn something new from this video please click the like button and share with your friends and subscribe to my channel thank you